tidy home. It's early, I know. I just got done eating, and so I thought I'd come on for a few minutes. And I think I'm going to finish. Hi, Kubi. How are you? How was school today? Did you have school today? Or is this your spring break? Hi, mom of two men. It's only quarter to six here. Hi, Susan Scarlotta. How are you, hon? Did you just get home from work? And you bite in my hand. Playing, bite in my hand. Get down and play for a minute. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Go play with your toys. Go get your toys. Go get your toys. Hi, Sherry Shirley. School was great. Okay, good. Go play. Go play. Okay, there's Polly. Usually you guys see it when it's dark. <clears throat> I made a, can you hear her? She snorts like a, I don't know what. <laughs> That's Angie doing that. Polly doesn't do that. Um, I did a video today on making that one salad. So that'll be going up. And then I got done with my montage for Tanya. So that'll go up Thursday. So I got that done. That's good. Listen to you snort. <laughs> Go get your toy. Where's your chicken? Angie, where's your chicken? Go get your chicken. Go get your chicken. Go. Go get your chicken. Go get it. Go get it. Go get your chicken. No, go get your chicken. Go on. Go get it. Go get it. Go on. Hi, farm wife. Hi, Aurora. Yeah, I have too. When Bella passed away, um, uh, Angie was just about to be born and her mom had to have an emergency C-section. She was only pregnant with her, no other, no other pups. And hi, Rochelle, Rose, um, Leslie Romani. And uh, so anyway, the mom had to have an emergency C-section and the mom couldn't breastfeed her because of where the stitches were, were by, you know, where she would feed her. Well, she had a, another female dog and that female dog took Angie in and fed her. It was like a wet nurse. Can you believe that? And uh, she just passed away last week. So that was sad. Angie, you make the most noise of any dog. Can you hear what she's doing right now? She's trying to, she's biting my hand playing. And so, so she'll make all of these noises as she's biting my hand. Really, Angie? <laughs> Could you imagine if I got Nana Patty's dogs and her together? I know, huh? It could be just like Nana Patty's dog. She's trying to get up. She's got really short little legs. Polly, she's got the longer legs where this one, well, she got up finally, all good. And, um, <laughs> and I mean, I make her get up. I don't lift her because I want her to learn, you know, just you got to jump a little higher and you'll be fine. And you know what? My Easter tree fell down yesterday. I don't know how, but it fell down. And on there, I have, uh, cat's got my tongue. Hey, good day. Good eye, Mike. Good eye. I know I say it wrong. Good day. Good eye. Good day. I don't know. Anyway, mate. Um, yes, no, I didn't make those carrots, uh, Sherry Shirley. I bought them at, at home. Oh, my God. Yes, Rachel. I'm telling you, I'm, I will be so glad when it's over because it just, it just almost haunts me. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, um, oh, what was I saying? Uh, was I talking about it? No, the tree. 
And I came downstairs and everything was on the floor, nothing breakable. Well, the cookies that I made, I don't know, maybe they did, I don't know. Thanks, Rachel. Um, but uh, it, it probably was a couple years ago, I made Easter cookies, faux Easter cookies with bread, um, you know, salt dough and um, decorated them and so cute. And I thought, oh my gosh, they're gonna be broke. You know, because they've lived through everything and they don't get any holes in them or nothing. So you can keep them for years. And so I had those on, but none of them broke. Can you believe that? Not one of them broke. I thought for sure they were gonna be broke. So how's everybody doing? I think I've said hi to everyone. Got my, got my tongue, Susan Scarlotta, Rachel, Kubi, Sherry Shirley. I said Leslie Romani, Aurora, Farm Wife 99, Mom of Two Men. Yep, got everybody. <clears throat> yeah, so, and then, oh Lord, I got a UTI. So I had to go and get antibiotic. Can you imagine? All I kept thinking was, oh Lord, we're supposed to be going to the cemetery on Thursday, okay? Jason took off, and I think Jeremy's going to meet us there. Not sure yet about Jeremy. He's kind of funny about that. It just depends on his mood that day. He doesn't deal well with anything like this at all, at all. And um, so, Anyway, I woke up and, I, and it just hit me. I mean, it was just like, boom, there it was. And I thought, oh my Lord, I've got to get something because, well, I'm, if any of you have ever had one, you know what I mean. And um, so anyway, I took that yesterday and then today I'm feeling better. Thank goodness. Hi, Lind is it Lindy? Hi there, I hope you're doing good. Yes, Stampin' Sue. How you doing from Pennsylvania? Hi, Betty. Oh, thank you, Betty. I appreciate that. I have um, I have some uh, faux food, fake bake, whatever you want to call it, um, coming up soon. And right now I'm finishing, you know that little topiary I had down here the other night with the eggs? I'll be filming that. I'm finishing that up. And then I made some peeps, you know, the little yellow peeps. And so I'll be finishing those and what else did I oh um you know those little vintage pipe cleaner um oh you know like they they like have the bunny faces on them and they're made out of paper and they have either the cats or the bunny faces um or little girls they're very vintage I'm going to be making those so I'm going to be filming all that Yes, cranberry juice. And I also have the cranberry gummies. So I have those, but I need to start drinking more water is what it is too. I really do. I have to start drinking a lot more water. Hi, Deanna, how are you? Hi, hi Kevin. How the heck are you? I hope you're doing well, Kevin. Nice to see you. February 20th, February 20th was the third anniversary of my son's death. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rachel. Oh, I'm so sorry. Cri creaky, crikey, crikey, mate, crikey. I do watch uh, the Irwins. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what's been happening here. See, I really do need to start drinking uh, more water, Stamp and Sue. Yeah, I'm glad, Kevin. I just started up again. I used to do lives, and when Tanya passed away, <clears throat> I I just couldn't do it. And, well, doing this now is okay but you know i i just got into doing my uh videos because i could turn the camera off but 
so just, you know, couple, well, what was it last week? And I kept having like, you know, Auntie Cuckoo, you know, because I've known her a long time. You know, she kept saying, Davidi, you got to go back live. Because she used to come on a lot when I'd be on. And then my kids were saying, Mom, you need to go back and do it again. You know, and I said, well, I said, I don't know. I'll, I'll know when, it's, when the time's right. And uh, then a couple other of my friends on YouTube. And uh, Carolyn said to me, too, she said, you know, you should start going back live. And um, so here I am, I'm, I'm live. <laughs> but when I'm able to do my own, you know, when just pre-recorded, if you will, you know, then I could stop it and start it, stop it and start it if I needed to. But I do really like connecting again with people because that was, that was always fun. And my lives were always more um, like it is now where I'm just chit-chatting or if I was upstairs doing... Um, you know, either getting ready for a video or showing someone, you know, what was going to be coming up in a video. It was more that type of thing. It was never where I was live doing something all the time. It was never like that. It was more just connecting. Oh, you're welcome, Deanna. Hi, Beatrice. You love the carrots? Go to at home, $6.99. You've heard people are liking it. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Rachel. Is it Rachel? Am I saying it right, Rachel? Yeah, not Rochelle, Rachel. Oh, Kevin, I'm glad that you caught me live. I'm glad. Mix lemon and apple cider vinegar hot if you need water. Yeah, you know what? And that's another thing I gotta start doing again. I used to drink the apple cider vinegar with the mother the Braggs, because my son, Josh, he swears by it, and he drinks it every single night after dinner, religiously, and um, and I did, you know, because, I mean, I don't mind it. Some people just hate the taste of it. I don't mind it because I like Italian dressing <laughs> and vinegar and oil, you know, and olive oil and all that, so it's not hard for me to chug it down. I just pretend like I'm, you know, having a little bit of Italian dressing. I know that sounds weird, but that's what I kind of tell myself when I'm downing it. But um, I need to start that again as well. Because doesn't that have like a um, alkalide in it, like the cranberry juice and stuff? What can't you picture, Rachel? Yeah, really bad about that. You know what, though? I think I'm going to get a, um, you know, one of those Brit, Br uh, Brita where you put the water and you have the filter in it because to get bottled water constantly, I mean, it gets expensive. Now, I don't mind taking that like when I go to work or um, uh, you know, if I'm going somewhere. But for at home, because I cannot stand our tap water. Ugh, I, ugh, I don't like it. And um, so if I got that, you know, little pitcher with the filter in it, I think that would be good. Hi, Scooter. How are you? Love you, too. Boy, isn't this a change. I'm alive. And hey, I saw you went live uh, today. I wasn't on anything last night because I don't know if you heard. I had a UTI and um, I was took antibiotics. So I was just kind of laying low. But I saw that, and it never, I, I looked back, I never saw any kind of, uh, um, you know, oh, what am I trying, you know what I'm trying to say, being notified, notification. A Burke, a Berkey filter? Where do you get those? Hi, Lasso Lacey. Supposed to be super good for a lot. Yeah. And I, I believe that. Really? Kubi? Yeah, Josh swears by it. He swears by Bragg's. Every every night after dinner. Because when I'm there for dinner, I mean, through the years, he'll always take a shot of that Bragg's after. Can't cut my tongue. I need to start drinking too. More water, that is. <laughs> Yep. 
Yeah, you, you like the uh, carrots, Beatrice? Yeah, they're, you know, and you can make, I mean, you can make them easy. I've made them be, not like this, not exactly like this, but they're easy to make. But for $6.99 and I had so many other things to do, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm just going to buy them. Your kids both have Berkey's, Kubi. I don't know if that's correct, plural or not. So is there a big difference between it? The two, I mean, the uh, Britta and um, the other. Hi, Pam, how are you? Sherry Shirley, I love that name. That's what I've heard that you shouldn't do it straight, but he does. Now I mix mine, I do mix mine in some water, not a lot of water, but I do mix it in a little bit of water. Yeah, because to me it's too um, strong for my throat. You can't hear me, Lasso? Hi, Linda. Hi, Peggy. How are you? What's new? Oh, no, I have a UTI. And I mean, it hit me with a vengeance yesterday. I mean, bad. And I thought, oh my gosh. I hate them. I hate those so bad. So I had to go get antibiotics. Oh, it's like a stainless steel coffee pot. Hi, Mary Tackett. I always think of Mary Hartman. Why? I don't know. Mary Tackett, Mary Hartman. Well, whatever, but I always, <laughs> I always think of her. You're doing the shells too, Kubi. Are you loving it? I saw another um, video today on uh, the shorts on Facebook. I'll have to send it to you, but it's this big whale. It's a, I, I, I don't know. I don't my whale. I don't know my whales that good. But I think it was, is it a pilot? I don't think it's a pilot whale. I think it's that real big one that you see where the mouth opens up really, really big and it swallowed that guy that one time. Well, anyway, in this video, it was so cute. These people were out in the water and this whale came up. He breached up, but not breached way high, but his head, his head was huge. And he let them scratch the top of his head and then the girl hugged him and or her I don't know and kissed it and it just stayed there it was the cutest thing and it just let her and she was kissing it and scratching its head <laughs> I thought of you right away what are you having for dinner Kubi hi Nicole Griffith how are you What did everyone have for dinner, by the way? I had a, I made a hamburger and then the salad that I'm gonna put up um, that I, I videotaped today. I was gonna go live with it, but I ended up just um, taping it and then I'll uh, put it up. Does your son drink Bragg straight? Yes, he does. No, he just takes a shot, literally a shot glass of it and just takes it like that. I drink it with water. You had a carrot cake muffin? Oh, for your dinner? All right. You had a huge salad. I love salad. I love, love salad. You're having diet food like you need it. Kubi, I mean, seriously, you have got, you got a nice shape. I should be eating the diet food. You're great, beautiful today. My goodness, I didn't eat. 
I'll wait till Carolyn comes on to get my calories in. She makes me eat. <laughs> Everyone's talking about food. You took your grandson to McDonald's. You haven't eaten yet too early. Sherry, are you, where are you? Are you in the States? You can water it down and add fresh lemon to Bragg's. Yes, I have done that before as well, Kubi. You know what? Hi, Mike. Well, look who he, look who's here, Mike. <laughs> um, yeah, I have done that. I have put the lemon in. And I'm going to start doing that again, guys. I'm going to start doing that right away. I think I'll do it. They say when you drink it at night, it's supposed to be good for you. And Josh always has his at night. He always tells me, Mom, do it at night. Oh, I'm in California, Sherry. Yeah, I ate kind of early, too, for myself, to be honest. You had pizza, Mary? Oh, that sounds good. What were you up to today, Mike? Isn't McDonald's getting so expensive? The other day, uh, Daisha, my daughter, and her husband, and Everly in um, London came over, and... Everly wanted a Happy Meal, so she got a Happy Meal, and uh, Andrew got just a hamburger. Well, it was probably, it was a, a deal, you know what I mean, with the drink and the fries and that. $18. That was all he got. Can you believe that? $18. Okay, every morning on an empty stomach. It's ridiculous, Kevin. It's crazy. Well, that's why I first started drinking it, was hoping for some. <laughs> Thanks, Mike, my little cheerleader. Um, hi, Sandy. You had mashed potatoes, gravy, carrots, peas, and cottage roll. Cottage roll. It all sounds good. I love everything fattening. That's my problem. You had hamburgers too, Peggy? Oh, okay. The kids are coming for the weekend. Cool. You're cleaning up the yard? The snow is melted there. Oh, good. Yeah, my yard needs some serious help. But I think it's getting now because we're going to have a couple days next week, I believe, in the 80s, lower 80s and 70s. And um, so I'm going to start planting. I already have my basil. Oh, I know it's such a mess. It is, Mike. Um, I'm gonna. I have my basil. Well, I'm gonna get more. And my rosemary. God bless that rosemary. It never goes away. And um, then I'll get my tomatoes and I'll get green beans. And um, uh, tomatoes, green beans, zucchini. I'll show you, I still have my salad here. I'll show you what I made today. Do you see it? The garbanzo beans, the fresh green beans, the Roma tomatoes, fresh garlic, olive oil, white balsamic, and some basil. That's my salad. <clears throat> and it's really good. Um, it's very refreshing. It's a real refreshing type salad. And um, it's really good with barbecued chicken. Like so, if you ever find cake is a bit dry, try adding some grated zucchini. Oh, I yes, I love zucchini bread too. Watch the one Joel want me to watch called Snowfall. I'm just reading back. Yep, I'm gonna get right back to that, you guys. I'm going right back to that Bragg's. Oh, I know it's crazy, Sandy. It's absolute, oh my gosh. I went to Burger King to get just some French fries. I just felt like French fries. $3.99. I, I thought I didn't hear her right. I almost just drove right through, but I didn't. Just for French fries. And they weren't the large. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Uh, 
I'm telling you. It is crazy, Mike. What movie did you end up buying, Sherry, for $6 from YouTube? You have to buy the movie from YouTube? I always watch the ones that are free. Are you still here, Scooter? You're starved now, Nicole. <laughs> it gets them a tap. So maybe I should do it in the, well, why can't I just do it in the morning and at night? I could do that, couldn't I? Because it is, it's just a couple tablespoons, right? Isn't that right? With the, the brags with water. Kubi's really good about exercising. And if you ever saw her, you'd know why. Because she sees the results. I'm not kidding. And then you add stevia. my tongue. I'm just looking back. I should have gone back and did my little. I know everything's expensive. For fries, Rachel, for fries. You're hearing me. I, I, I just couldn't believe. I will never, never do that again. Oh, Oh, thank you, Nicole. That was so sweet. Didn't have to do that. Thank you. Oh, Billy. Hi, Billy Boy Blue. What the heck? Thank you so much. Oh, how are you, Billy Boy Blue? I appreciate that. That's so sweet. We still have snow, but it's supposed to warm up. You're in Utah, right, Peggy? One tablespoon, wait, one tablespoon, half of a real lemon and honey. That's how you take it. Make it like lemonade almost. Okay. That's it. Oh, it is. It's crazy. <laughs> I won't, I won't swear them off forever. Trust me, Kevin. Trust me on that one. I will never give them up completely, but I won't pay $3.99 for them. Oh my gosh, Peggy, my kids love Yellowstone. And they said, Mom, you got to start watching it. It is good. Oh, Mike, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mike. And then there, there's another one that was like, was supposed to be before um, Yellowstone. It was, uh, well, you know, it was what happened before Yellowstone took place, apparently. 1883 was Sam Elliott. Well, you know, Sam Elliott, you know I'm going to, want to watch that, right? So, um, oh, thanks, Nicole. So are you. Oh, thank you, Mike. I appreciate it, Billy Boy Blue. Oh, Nicole, that's so sweet. It, truly, I appreciate that. Um, but uh, anyway, have any of you started watching 1880? That's the name of it. It's 1883. But yeah, I like those kind of um, shows. So yeah, I will start watching Yellowstone. But I don't know if I should watch 1883 first since that was like the precursor to Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the name of it. It's, um, it's on uh, Paramount Plus. 
You're in Laguna Beach, Deborah. My dad used to have um, a art gallery. He was an artist and he had an art gallery in uh, San Juan and he lived in Laguna Beach. Yeah, it's supposed to be good. Look it up, Kubi, because it's supposed to, like I say, it's the precursor to Yellowstone. And Jeremy said, and Jason both, they said it is really good. They said, you will really, really like it. The other one I liked, and I binge watched the whole thing, was Mayor of East Town with uh, the girl that played in um, uh, Titanic. That was really good. And I kept going back and forth thinking, okay, who's the one that did it? You know what I mean? I kept going back and forth. And then I think, no, I think it's that one. And then I think, no, I don't think so. I think it might be that one. You know, and I love those kind where you keep trying to figure it out and they think, well, maybe not. That was good. So Mayor of East Town, if you haven't seen it, it's good. Oh, Scooter. Oh, Scooter, thank you. Buy a couple of large fries next time you're out with John. <laughs> oh, I'm going to show him this. I am going to show him that little comment. <laughs> Thank you, Scooter. Um, I don't know the gist of it. I don't know. All I know is what they told me. It's it's a Western, obviously. Um, and Sam Elliott is in it, which right away that sold me. And um, so I don't know. All I know is they said that it's really, really good. Hi, Crime Scene Cleaner. How are you? Oh, that would, uh, yeah, I do want to watch that. Wyland, really, does he know Wyland? Wyland. Lauren Conrad's son. Okay, wait, I'm missing Mike Heller. Does anyone, has anyone watched it yet where you know the gist of it? I mean, I've seen the a picture, you know, but I mean, I haven't looked at anything yet. All I'm going by is what two of my boys said. So do you guys have any big plans for the rest of the week or the weekend coming up? I really have to get started on the backyard though. I mean, oh, there's so much. How do you get Paramount Plus? That's through, um, is, is it Amazon Prime Paramount Plus? I always get them all mixed up. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Billy Boy, thank you. Thank you so much, you're so kind. Um, oh, Nicole, oh my gosh, thank you. Um, oh, Nicole, that's so sweet. No life there, Kubi, <laughs> Kubi, nope, no life here. Um, oh my yard, it's awful. I mean, oh, there's so much that's just overgrown. And, but now I'll start, you know, now that the weather is getting better to get out there and weed and, you know, get things put together and start planting. Cause I didn't want to plant when it was still cold, you know, really, really cold. Cause I mean, it was getting down into, you know, here it was getting into uh, the like 40, even a couple times it was 39 here and it will just freeze my basil, you know, and it'll just turn brown and uh, you know how it is. So I wanted to wait until it got a little bit warmer. So I'm thinking after this week, um, and I get all that behind me, then I'm going to start looking into getting my uh, plants and my herbs. And I'm sure those are gonna probably be a pretty penny too. Because a lot of times, I mean, I usually will get the plants that already have growth on them. 
although I do get the seeds as well. And I had some really nice uh, hot peppers, you know, the red hot peppers. And, um, and they kept growing and growing. And then when it finally got really, really cold, you know, that, that did them in. But anyway. You're liking your weather, Mike, because it's warming up. I mean, I would love to have snow. I really would. Longmire, no. They told me about Longmire too, Peggy, and they said that was really good. No, I haven't. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm going to get get going on that. You lost, Rich Rose, you can tell a difference. Lost 50, you've lost 50 pounds, Kevin? How in the heck did you do it? You're gonna do seeds this year? Well, you know what? Thanks, Deborah. Hi, Carolyn. It's, you know what, it's gonna depend on um, how expensive the plants are. Because I remember going last uh, spring and getting, and they were starting to get expensive, the ones that already had growth, you know? I mean, everything's gonna go up now, you know, because the fuel and all that. So I may, I may just do seeds on some of this stuff. So yeah. So Kevin, how did you lose all your weight? Because that's another thing I have to do. I wish I hated food. You know, I really do. But unfortunately, because if, you know, because sometimes I'll, you know, like to make certain things and I do like, and see, this is the other thing. I, I like sweets and I wish I didn't, but I do. I mean, I like a good apple pie. I like a good brownie. I'm not a good cake maker, although I do make some, but they're not that good. And um, I do like ice cream. See, I wish I didn't like all that. Like Jeremy, he could care less about sweets. He could care less about him. Okay, keep working, Carolyn. Um, so it's 45 there? I like 45. Yes, I like bread and pasta too, sure. See, I like all of what isn't good for you. And I'm not um, strict enough. You know, I mean, some people, like my daughter-in-law, Wendy, you, some of you know Wendy. And when she gets started on it, I mean, that girl will just continue. And I mean, I just admire her. She's just tenacious when it comes. I mean, she will just, and nothing will stop her. Where me, I'm thinking, oh, I don't know if I could do that. Ooh, if you're going to say, do you want some of this? I might say, okay, just a little bit. <laughs> oh, Kevin, thank you. Kevin, that's so sweet. Fry money. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. As I'm talking about just trying to shed pounds. Well, maybe I'll just drink some of the... Um, uh, um, crap, come on, guys. The Braggs before I eat the French fry. <laughs> I'm teasing, kind of. Hi, Renzi's. I just started ordering a meal prep delivery system. Which one are you getting, Kubi? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me, Deborah? You're not kidding. Our gas is expensive. I told you. One of my friends sent me a picture that they took up in LA. $9 a gallon. Nine. 
it's six dollars where I am right now, going um, a couple places by the freeway or seven. You did a low carb keto time. Okay, now I think I could do that because Wendy was on keto, completely keto, but she had Jeremy to cook for her and he is like, I'm not kidding. He's like a flipping chef. That guy, it's crazy. He loves to cook, loves to cook. And um, so he would cook all over and he would send me pictures on his Instagram. He has all kinds of pictures of his food that he makes. Unbelievable. Well, anyway, she lost, I think she lost 70, I think it was 70 pounds on 70, 75 pounds when she did keto. Well, the thing is, when you start then going back into the carbs at all, because I mean, she wasn't eating any carbs. Well, then I said, what about if you did the little bit of carb and the keto? See, if I could still have a little bit of my carbs, I think I could do it. It would be that if you couldn't have any carbs, I just don't think I could stick with it. Hi, Moo of Two, how are you? Oh yeah, well, no, yeah, that's terrible to lose your, oh yeah, that would be awful. I hear you there, cat's got my tongue. No, I mean, I, well, I'm kind of being facetious when I say I wish I didn't like food at all, but I wish I didn't like it as much as I like it. You know what I mean? Okay, so dirty keto is 50 carbs or under. Oh, I'll have to look into that. Well, that and that's right, Stampin' Sue, everything in moderation, I know. And I think what time you eat as well. See, I'll munch at, you know, when the time gets later when you really shouldn't. And then I looked at that intermediate fasting. I don't know about that either. I'm not sure. I'm so glad you saw me on here, Moo. Oh yeah, me too, Nicole. Sometimes I wonder if I even have a metabolism left. <laughs> Well, yeah, you got to make sure that she can cook, Mike. That's for sure. Now they're both in my lap. All right, move over. Okay, now. Okay, get down, Paul. Okay. Um, but yeah, you, you got to have somebody that cooks. But Jeremy loves to cook. See, that's that's his thing. He loves new recipes. He's always looking at recipes and he's so you know nice about it he'll cut everything up so sweetly not me I just chop it up and throw it in I've been doing it for so long it's like I don't have time to do that so lovingly hi Robin's net so crafts how are you sweetie did you no you're not working right Robin One meal a day? Oof, I don't know if I could do that, Sherry. Well, Rachel, the thing is, too, you're right. Thing is, you got to stay committed, right? What I need to do is I need to start walking around the lake. I really do need to do that. And I'll, I'll take you away with me when I walk around the lake um, or when I get done walking and sit or fall down on the grass. But um, that, and I could walk around uh, the um, neighborhood because it's very, very hilly. I mean, it goes way up. So I could do that too. Oh, you like to cook too, Mike? Well, it would be nice if you both could cook in the kitchen. <laughs> Jax. Hi, Anna Mora. How are you? 
did Jack lock himself yet into the bathroom or is it too early? You're going to be walking too, Nicole? Well, you know what? They have this one app. And I saw... Um, uh, oh, shoot. Carolyn from uh, Jersey Housewives. Remember Carolyn, the older one with the red hair? Monzo. Manzo. And um, she's on an app where you can talk to people that are on that same app as you're exercising. So if you're walking and you're both on that app, from what I'm gathering from this, you could converse like we are right now, but when you're walking. So that'd be kind of cool. Sure, sure. I gotta go back to see what uh, you lost. Where did I see that? You lost 20 pounds in two weeks from dirty keto. It takes a bit longer, but I'm a pasta and bread person. Well, yeah, see me too. Um, well, and yeah, and it takes longer for it to come off. I mean, I don't mind that part of it. As long as you could lose. I mean, if it's going to take a little bit longer, I don't care about that. If you did see results, you know. But then I'm thinking, well, I'm so old that I don't know that my body would do like it used to do when I was young, you know, because when I really worked out, you know, which I used to, um, I could lose it, you know, and get firmer. But now it's like, oh, I, I don't know, I think I've taken the plunge onto the other side where it's, there's never going to be any hope left. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I don't. Oh, and then if you don't see any results, then you, you get bummed out and you think, oh, you know, forget it. I'm not going to even do it anymore. And that's the thing too, Nicole, because you're everyone physiologically, I mean, the anatomy, you're all different. And that's why sometimes someone will say, okay, I lost this, I lost that. And it might take you so much longer because what, there's the endomorph, the, um, me, is it the meso, meso, well, you probably know this. Could be um, endomorph, mes, mesomorph. When I was in modeling, they all had the same, uh, they had those three things that you were. And they would put you in, you know, they would take, you had to fill out a questionnaire thing. And, to, you know, when you wanted to lose weight or whatever, and they would tell you what you need to do to lose it. And it did work. And for me, I'm an endomorph. So, um, the pastas and all that are what put on the weight. And I mean, and that was way back in the early seventies. I mean, a long time ago, but it really did work if you followed what each kind of body should be eating, but it just, it just depends. You were recently di diagnosed with diabetes yeah, because, see, carbs turn into sugar. Wow. Hi, 10th Angel. How are you? Well, and that's the other thing. The, the fruit, that's got a lot of sugar. You're right. But isn't... The sugar, okay, the sugar from fruit and say sugar, white cane sugar, okay, um, like cookies, that kind of stuff, are, are those two kinds of sugar uh, burned in the body differently or is it all the same once it gets into your body? It's nobody. Don't start bark. Don't you dare start barking. Um, I can always tell when she's revving up. See, and I'll eat it. When I go to work, a lot of times I'll have a half an apple and a half a piece of sourdough bread. And all that's carbs because the apple's carbs too, right? Okay, so it is two different kinds of sugars. 
Yeah, but they all do convert into sugar into your body, yeah. Okay, wait, so you can, wait a minute, what did you say? The apples and berries are low carbs and good carbs. Oh, so the apple is a good one? Oh, good. Because I do eat, I do like apples. I like Honeycrisp the best. To me, they're the best apple, but they don't last long as far as sticking around. Because my son, Jeremy, he's a produce broker and his is fruits and um, what he deals with and um, citrus. And the Honeycrisp, you don't, you know, they'll stay for, I think it's like, maybe a month, two months, and then that's it. But to me, those are the best apples. I just love them. Oh, you don't eat much sugar, Nicole? How did you get diagnosed with it? What were your symptoms, um, Stampin' Sue? Sugar. Yeah, I love the Honeycrisp. And I used to have it with peanut butter, but then I thought, man, I wonder if that peanut butter is really packing on the pounds. You know? Is that your favorite apple, Sherry Shirley, the Honeycrisp? Oh, you, you like to cook, but you don't like to bake, Mike? You know what? Jeremy doesn't bake either now that I'm thinking about it. He, he does cooking and barbecuing, but he doesn't bake. Can you hear snorting again? She's biting my hand. She loves to bite my hand. And she's not hard. I mean, you know, she's just playing. But she does snort a lot. <laughs> but that's nice. I mean, I think it's neat when the guy cooks myself, to be honest with you. Okay, sweetie. Thanks for coming in, Kubi. Thank you. Love you. Have fun painting. You love to bake, Robin? I'm just not a good baker. I mean, I'll bake, but I don't think I'm that good. I mean, I'm okay, and once in a while I'll, you know, get on a good streak where it's... The, the, one, I, the things I think I make the best, okay, that my sons always want me to make, like for their birthday or if I'm, we're going to dinner at one of their houses and, you know, we ask what we can bring. <clears throat> one thing is the homemade German chocolate cake. They always want me to make that. And um, carrot cake and um, uh, what's the other one? Well, apple pie. All of this is homemade. And um, the other one Jeremy loves that he asked, like, if we're getting together for his birthday is the jello cake, you know, the white cake where you poke it and you put the jello and then use the Cool Whip for the frosting. That's his favorite. That's his absolute favorite. And for Jason, it's, and Jeremy, um, yeah, no, Jason, I was going to mix it up. Jason and uh, Josh, they like the German chocolate the best. <laughs> Step and soup. I'm not really. I'm not Nicole. Um, those are the things that I can bake well, and I do make a good lemon meringue pie, homemade. That I do make, and well, and a chocolate pie. I guess I I'm not real good at making cookies. I'm not good at making cookies. I don't like my cookies. Ooh, you like lime grasshopper pie? That sounds good. I love citrus. I'm shaking because she keeps biting my hand. I'm trying to get away from her. She's so funny. You are so loud. You are so little, but so loud. Now she wants me to kiss her. Now she's up putting her arms around me, hugging me. Angie. Yeah. <laughs> I know, Nicole, huh? Okay. 
Oh, you guys, you're going to love this. Daisha, when she was filming um, Cruise with the Cause, it was from when they came, left here and went to Florida one year. Well, anyway, they went into this place in Florida. I don't remember the name of it, but um, anyway... <laughs> So they're filming as she's going in. And so she, uh, one of her friends that was filming with her, she, they went into this place. It was really, really hot, humid hot that day. And um, she went in, it was an ice cream place, little place, really cute actually. And um, she said, I'll have a little bit of the, key. how did she say it? I'll have a little bit of the key without the lime, the key lime pie. They looked at her, she was serious. She thought it was two different, they started cracking up. She was such a numb nut. But that was funny. I remember laughing. I do tease her about that sometimes. <laughs> you have got to quit biting my hand. She's playing. And Polly, she's just sleeping like, oh, would you stop? What have you been doing, 10th Angel? Have you been working um, on your cards, on your cricket? Oh, they love red velvet. That's good, too. Major's pineapple, pineapple cake with cream cheese. Ooh, that sounds good, too. You're going to grab a treat. Be right back. <laughs> I know when you start talking about food, you think, oh, that sounds good. I think I'll go get that. I love homemade cream cheese frosting. I do love that with carrot cake. See, that's what I mean. All that stuff is fattening, and I love it. You've been making 3D cards? Oh, how cool. I know, Nicole. It always ends up with food, doesn't it, somehow? Some way or another. Five ingredients, that's not bad at all. You want to bake bread? Yeah. Are you loving your um, countertops, 10th Angel? I like, you know, actually, I have frozen pineapple in there, in the freezer. Actually, I think I have mixed fruit in there. Maybe I'll make that. The Jeremy got me, and Wendy and Jeremy got me the Ninja Creamy, 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 the ice cream. It's the ice cream and... Uh, I think it makes gelato, ice cream, smoothies. Shoot, I can't remember all of them. Anyway, when I do it, I'll, I'll film it. What color are they, 10th Angel? Your countertops. They are, Sherry Shirley. They're, um, let me get in there further. Yep, see? They were from uh, Hobby Lobby and they were on just a big bush and I cut them apart. Stampin', Stampin' Sue creates whom is no one. Cream and speckled brown cor cor Coran. Oh, I know. Hydrangeas are gorgeous. So they come back. So they're perennial, um, Stampin' Sue. Oh, 
It went black again? Oh, crap. I might be losing you. Because it just said something to me and I disregarded it because I'm still seeing the picture. All right, guys, I guess I'll go for now, but I'll come back um, in a little bit, probably. But yeah, because my screen said something this time before it didn't. So something's going on. Okay, guys, I'll be back. Love you so much. And thank you so much for the super chats. I really appreciate that. That was so kind of everyone. Thanks, guys. I love you. Love you all. All right. Stay safe. Love you. Bye.